and hello 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 welcome back to the channel and it's your host marley startled and we're continuing on the campaign for the don 42 dlc uh for unity command 2 a very good game uh love it very much and i can't wait really to uh, keep going uh so without further ado let me bring this bad boy up and we will start so we're moving on to cold so uh, despite being high on the list of the Stavska's priority, the first two attempts at reducing the Stalingrad pocket stalled without success. The first attempt failed due to the Soviets underestimating under how many Axis troops had been trapped within the pocket. The second attempt floundered because the 2nd Guards Army was diverted to help deal with the Winterkowitter, the German relief attempt. It is now mid-January and the Soviets launched their third and final effort to crush Paulus's 6th Army. So this is where if you'd screwed up at Stalingrad, the first scenario, you just get absolutely slapped because all your troops are crap because they've all been killed off. So your objective is no less than the complete destruction of the enemy forces trapped within Stalingrad pocket. Your first order of business will be to take Karpovka. After that, you, you are advised to reduce the pocket moving west to east, denying the fascists the use of their supplier fields as you go. So Savage commands a quick end to this operation and also free up troops for their offensives. So, here we have Stalingrad, here we have a lot of infantry, but no armour, because the armour is elsewhere. Um, this is the remnants of your Operation Uranus, so if you hadn't done a particularly good job, well, you're on a pain, pain train. Okay, uh, so the game's telling me I should be using going from west to east, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go west to east. And I'm going to equip all my boys. I'm going to be careful here. Lanley some free, uh, some sappers. Need artillery. And I'm just going to slowly punch this way. So it wants me to take Kapoka by turn three. We give that a go, see if we can. And then we'll eventually end up in Stalingrad. Apparently, if we take Univermag, it just ends. So I don't know if we could just do a YOLO rush for Univermag. But uh, I'm not going to do that. So step one. Try and get round. Oh, tanks. Classic. Any classic. Tank special. Oh, I'm going to get circled hit by an annoying little thing. Let's slowly push forward. So much of my northern troops are vulnerable. And try not to fight, that's my uh, that's my ticket out. Just don't fight, just try and get around them. So I'm just leaving that in circle and I'll starve out. I'll leave those in circle and just keep pushing. And that will hopefully <laughs> be my fix to this nightmare. Yep, break out. I'm going to try and break out here. Mm hmm. The bully tanks. The bully tanks. Oh. Okay, I can encircle that one and keep moving eastward. As long as I keep this contained, it'll be fine. Yeah. 
YOLO it. YOLO it. Starve the troops out. I could give you a Katushka, but uh, don't see how that would help me. Try and give you guys good stuff. I'll give you some sappers. I'll give you guys nothing. The idea is simply not to fight, it's to filter into the cracks in their lines. I'm going to take the risk and start moving troops around this way. Fine, because that's going to be uh, empty soon. They are fighting valiantly for the pockets, I'll give them that. But I think I can still. There we go. Cross the troops through, cross the troops through. Uh, keep that troop there. Can't do anything to you at the moment. You're not cut off yet. I can cut you off. I am clever about it. I won't be able to cut that tank off. You want me to take this turn? I mean, you could try. Hurrah! You want me to take Knopfkin next? Then literally this horde tactics, like just hoarding my way through. Holding my way through. Mother me, counterattack as much as you want. I mean, I'll just go through the cracks. I mean, it worked. I think it worked. I can't even. It's so bad, I can't even, like, dent these tanks. That's how bad it is. These guys are starving. The next couple of turns, I might be able to get a surrender out of them. So, hang on. Right, they cut off. <laughs> Don't take my supply. Oh, thanks. The encirclers have become encirclers. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this ain't good. Look, Germany surrenders if I can just keep starving them. So if I do this and put down my supply line instead. That's not gonna work.
At least I can get rid of you now, that's fine. You're all please applied now, that's uh, also really bad. Hmm. I need to weave in these tanks. enough. Uh, can I squeeze a little tanky attack over here? It's okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, any more Soviet infantry I can throw into any grinder? You've still got one turn left. Well, you've still got two turns left when you finally starve, but we're close now. So many troops lost. And here was me thinking that, you know, Stalingrad, the Germans were supposed to be on their last legs. It's not. And maybe we open the supplies. Yeah. Which isn't the best, but a bit. It's German armor. Oh, I hate playing the Russians on this because the German armor is so good. Oh. Have they got their supplies back for them? They have. I need to find a way of stopping that. I can stop that. I might just have to throw everything I've got at like this. Yeah. That's still being supplied. How are you guys being supplied still? What the hell? Somewhat annoyed by the fact you're still getting supplied. I did as well. And yeah, they're all back to being alive again. One tank. Classic German tank boogaloo. No supply. Hmm. 
Is there a reason why I can't? Artillery strike? I mean... You got your supplies, I don't understand why I can't artillery strike. That was cross. Not worth it. The risk is too high. Uh, I need to take Red October. I can't take Red October. Oh, yes, I can. It's all starving. Can't get Univermag then. I would have liked that mass surrender, it would have made life so much easier. It was a disastrous battle again. I made up some mistakes and then I thought they were being supplied from the airfield, but they weren't. Oh. These German tanks. These German tanks are absolutely driving me mad. I hope you like getting fucked about. I want the surrender just because it makes me happy. Uh, excuse me. I know at this stage. I should really be spending all my reserves on taking this, but, but you know it is, you know. I've got the beast in me. I want to see the German surrender. Another stunning collapse. I take Univermag. This is such a high risk game, I've only got three turns left. I want the Univerm I don't care, I want Univermag, I just want the Germans to end I do not care. Mm, kill as many tanks, kill, kill them all! I've got millions of them. Wow. <laughs> the Germans fought to the end. Oh god. What a botch Stalingrad. What a botch Stalingrad. So uh this this is a really difficult um battle because uh, as you see from Uranus, um this comes back like five two or three or about four scenarios into the campaign and because all your troops got battered at Uranus um yeah Uranus because <laughs> your troops get battered at Uranus you end up in a situation where um you eventually come to this scenario like four or five levels in and all your troops for the scenario are completely battered from the uh from the, from the first scenario, so it can be very difficult. Um, I was doing okay, I could have got at you to Vermag Surrender if um, I identified where the supply was coming from better than what I did, because I moved troops out of it, the tank moved in, and it was over from there. Pretty much a meat grinder battle, but I won't be using these troops again, hopefully, so not my problem, you know? <laughs> Completed it. Uh, but that's that scenario. Uh, I'm glad that's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And now I can hopefully continue on 
with uh, hopefully the final two scenarios. Uh, I think there's one more scenario after this. Uh, but you can see my campaigning skills are a little rusty, so uh, please forgive me. Anyway, see you guys soon. Cheers.